Hi, Russ of Aquarimex here, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own bug jelly. I've used this as the staple food for my velvet ants, as well as one of the staple food items for my desert beetles. I've also offered it to ice pods, millipedes, crickets, and so on. The basis for this recipe comes from the Beetles as Pets blog. I'll put a link to that in the description. And also in the description, I will put the entire recipe, the version that I use, as well as links to the ingredients for the recipe. So, without further ado, let's make some bug jelly. The first ingredient is a very ripe banana. Next, about 40 grams or 8.5 teaspoons of dark brown sugar, a teaspoon of honey, between one quarter and one half teaspoons of agar powder and optionally about a half a teaspoon of crested gecko diet. Sometimes I add this, sometimes I don't. The final ingredient is one cup of water. I start by putting about half of the water in the blender along with the brown sugar the Crested Gecko Diet, and the honey. And of course, the very ripe banana. I blend those up. Till they're nice and smooth. I bring the remaining half cup of water to boil on the stove. Add the one quarter teaspoon to one half teaspoon of agar powder. Stir that in. I stir this for a couple of minutes usually to make sure that it is well dissolved. And then I stir in the remaining ingredients. I bring this to a boil and stir it for about two minutes, allowing it to boil. It's really important to let it boil long enough or it won't solidify. Once it's boiled for a couple of minutes, I pour it into a shallow container to cool. One really important thing during this step is to make sure that you don't shake or jar it. Don't try to move it while it's cooling. It needs to cool completely while being left undisturbed, or it will not solidify properly. Fortunately, if you happen to make a mistake and you disturb it while it's cooling, you can put it back on the heat, um, heat it to boiling again and start over, and then it will uh, usually solidify just fine. And after it's cooled for about half an hour to an hour, you can just cut it up with a knife into cubes. And these cubes um, are nice and soft, perfect to feed to your bugs. I put these in a jar, store them in the fridge, and they keep for several months. And my bugs love them. So give it a try. And there you go. That's how to make bug jelly. Keep in mind that the quantity of agar powder is going to have a large influence on the consistency of the jelly itself. If you go on the lower end, about a quarter teaspoon of it, in the recipe, it's going to be very soft and it's also going to sweat. In other words, when you put it in the, the jar in the fridge, there's going to be kind of a syrupy juice that comes out in, and uh, is in the jar as well. That's not necessarily a problem, it just depends on what you're feeding. If you use the higher quantity, like the half teaspoon, it's going to be a lot more solid, less likely to, to leak that liquid, and it, but you may have problems with insects that like really soft foods trying to eat that um, slightly firmer jelly. So just experiment uh, based on which species you are feeding and their preferences. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday and Wednesday all on aquarium and vivarium pets. 
please feel free to rate, comment, share, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.